Nuendo's powerful editing, arranging, and mixing features make it an incredible tool for doing post-production or broadcast work that involves syncing audio to video. In this movie tutorial, I'll share some tips and features with you that will help you get set up, as well as enhance your workflow during video-related projects. The first step in getting ready for video work is to import a video file and set up your sync and frame rate options to match those of the video that you are importing. If you are going to sync to an external video playback device, then make sure to check over the synchronization formats and setup tutorial and the synchronization topic. The project setup window gives you quick access to your project start time in case your video file timecode starts at a position other than the zero mark. Nuendo provides an extensive list of video files, including support for QuickTime, MPEG, MPEG-2, AVI, and Windows Media video files. Once you import a video file, Nuendo will place it on its own video track within the project editor. This gives you the option to control exactly where in the project the video is placed and also allows you to place multiple clips one after another. Since Nuendo is built to work completely off your computer's processing power, you can open a dedicated video playback window without the need for additional video hardware or expansion cards. If you go to your device setup, you have several options that provide enhanced video playback control, including the size of the video window and format options to match the video file format you are using. A great feature of Nuendo's built-in video playback is the ability to drag the video window anywhere you like. This works great if you have a multiple monitor setup, where you can drag the video window into a separate monitor and put it in a full screen mode. Normally this would take expensive synchronization and video playback equipment. With Nuendo, it's already part of your native environment. If your video file already has timecode burn-in, then you can use Nuendo's dedicated time display to keep a visual eye on timecode sync accuracy. This will give you a large format time display window that can display any of the supported time formats, including bars and beats, timecode, seconds, and more. It also helps as a tool to make sure your video timecode is matching up with Nuendo's timecode. All right, now that we have our video ready to go, I'll quickly go through some of the main features in Nuendo that you'll find are great for video work. I've loaded up a project using the movie we imported earlier that already has all my score material in it as well as the dialogue track. First up is edit mode. This is an incredible method for visually lining up audio events to a specific part in the video. By activating edit mode in the main transport menu, video playback will always follow your mouse as you move, edit, and trim events in any of the editors. For example, Here's a section right before the fight scene starts. I have a swell sound that I want to use to emphasize the tension leading into the beginning of the fight scene. Instead of having to find an accurate timecode position using numbers, I can do it visually by moving the events. Watching the video follow my mouse movements as I place the beginning of the swell sound right before the scene fades in. If you need to move the events more accurately, you can use the snap mode and the nudge buttons to move events based on the value selected in the grid type field. For instance, if I wanted to make slight adjustments to the placement of this swell sound, I can choose one frame as my grid type, and then use the nudge left and right buttons to move the event frame by frame. Since edit mode is still activated, you'll also see the movie advance frame by frame, allowing you to still use it as a visual cue for placement. Here's another great feature. Nuendo gives you the ability to organize your tracks into folder tracks. Folder tracks allow you to simply take tracks within your project track list and move them into the folder track. This groups them all into a single category that you can use for all sorts of purposes. What's even cooler is that all the events for the tracks in the folder track are shown as a combined event in the project editor. This allows you to make changes to all the events within the folder track like moving the entire group around or splitting them all in a single cut. Now when it comes to working on films or television work, folder tracks are a great way to organize all the tracks for specific cues you are working on. If you see here in my movie score, 
I had the movie intro and all the tracks for that movie intro in one folder track. Then next, I have some of the jail scenes and past sequences as a separate queue in its own folder track, and so on. This makes it very easy for me to keep all the other queues out of view and focus strictly on any one queue that I need to work on. There's almost no end to the number of tools you have at your disposal in Nuendo for all sorts of post, video, and broadcast work. Combine this with Nuendo's efficiency and ability to use completely native systems to provide you with functionality usually found only in systems that cost thousands of dollars more and requiring expensive hardware, then there is no doubt that Nuendo is the next step in the evolution of post-production workstations.